Well, I guess one of the things that's important to do is to uh, perhaps build smarter. And to me, that's a big thing. And by smarter, I mean building houses that aren't bigger, but better if it's properly designed. There has to be some design intelligence applied, but really it probably will create a more intimate space. So the first thing you can do is, believe it or not, reduce size, in my opinion. That's one of the things you can do. After that, I guess, from a renewable energy point of view, well, the sun shines, let it get into your house. And a lot of people, you know, um, haven't really thought about that. We certainly don't see that in new subdivision housing. There's not really much thought given to solar and exposure how much energy we can actually bring into the building uh, through the sun. I mean, it's very easy to get anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of your annual heating done through the sun. It creates spaces that are better for you. So here you've got this free energy source. Um, you can combine it with a wonderful view. It's a soothing atmosphere. It all goes together. It's a smart thing to do. And right off the bat, you probably chop. Certainly, even under the worst of conditions, you can take 25% off your heating bill. That's 25% less greenhouse gases. When you start to clutter houses, you have to realize that every piece of furniture and every object has got some kind of embodied energy. Somebody had to make it. Somebody had to use non-renewable energy sources to create it. It had to be transported, put on a shelf, put in a store. The store had to be heated. All of these things have a multiplier effect. And so in many ways, having you know a simple, elegant home, which is, I think, what modernism was all about, is a really great thing to do because what you're really doing is exerting a lighter ecological footprint. So if you can think of a house that's smaller, that takes in a lot of sunlight, that is not cluttered with a lot of junk, but actually has durable pieces of furniture. I call them classics, things that are going to be around for possibly many generations instead of constantly going back to places like, you know, Leon's or the Brick and just trading it in every five years and filling up our landfills with all this junk. I think those are sort of some of the big big steps that you can take that are that are fairly simple that anyone can consider.